five more deputy ministerial nominees have been vetted by the Appointment Committee of Parliament. They are Mr. Benjamin Dagadu and Mr. John Jinapo, deputy ministers designate for energy and petroleum. Mr. Joseph Yamin for youth and sports. Dr. Mushebu Muhammad Alpha for the Ministry of Science environment science technology and innovation and mr samson he deputy minister designate for water resources works and housing a report by sarah fori Evidence I shall give before this committee. Vetting of Mr. Sam Sinai, Deputy Minister for Water Resources, Works and Housing, was conducted on a lighter note. He was quizzed on the challenges currently being faced by his designated ministry. From the pending water crisis, the lack of maintenance culture of government flats and bungalows, to the uncompleted affordable housing started by previous administrations. This year, the president has charged my minister, Honorable Colonel Zelda, to ensure that by the end of 31st December, we'll have drained 1,700 poles across the country. The whole idea in the rural community is to cover 100%. At the moment, they have covered 63.3%. We don't have that spirit of maintenance culture. And so the tendency that we allow government property to decay before we look for resources to, uh, I mean, uh, rehabilitate them or renovate them. And so this is an important area. One given and Lord, I will strongly recommend to my minister so that we, we find a solution to this problem. Answering questions about the performance of the national football teams during international tournaments, Deputy Minister Designate for Youth and Sport, Mr. Joseph Yemen, said scouting for young, talented players from the community level would restore the confidence of Ghanaians in the national teams. He said he would ensure that attention is paid to the lesser sports disciplines. He reiterated that President Mahama has allocated a 10 million Ghana CD fund to assist the youth in entrepreneurship. A biotechnology analyst, Dr. Mushebu Mohamed Alfa, who would be Deputy Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, said Ghana had the capacity to use nuclear energy to prolong the shelf life of foods and improve upon its quality. However, he was more concerned about a possible offshore pollution as the country's oil is lifted and called for a national contingency plan. We have just started as an oil producing country and we have to have in place a mechanism that can allow us to adequately handle any contingency, any emergency. So I would rather propose to my minister the setting up of something like a national oil contingency plan, I mean the, the formulation of a national oil contingency plan with the ministry through EPA being at the center and collaborating closely, very, very closely with the Ghana Navy and then the Maritime Authority. And as you all know, once we are producing oil, ships will come here to load oil and they can pollute our water through two sources, either through the, this, the, the diesel containers, if there's a problem, they can uh, pollute our waters, or even the oil itself that they are carrying, if there's a problem, they can also be a spill on, in our waters. So we have to be careful about that. Deputy Minister Designates for Petroleum and Energy, Mr. John Abdullah Junapo, also answered questions ranging from the Tema oil refinery debt and its inability to operate, the viability of Valco, and the woes of the energy crisis. Mr. Junapo would be deputizing with another oil industry expert and energy consultant, Mr. Benjamin Dagadu. He has had extensive experience working with the Ghana National Petroleum Company. He was involved in the construction of the 50 megawatts Tema TT2 plant for the Volta Regional Authority. One side attraction about the vetting of the ministerial nominees is the unique appearance of natives from where the candidate hails from. They embellish themselves in traditional regalia, beautifully 
adorn themselves all to express their legitimacy towards the candidate, Sarah Furi, GTV News, Parliament House, Accra.